What's up guys? I it's your boy Chris and today's video let me tell you about today's video, bro. Today's video is going to be Oh my gosh, you thought I was going to the right side, but now nah. to oh okay. Let me just, 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 just I'm gonna... That's embarrassing. <laughs> nah, but for real guys we got a freaking fire video. I I say that every single video, but today, educational. I we got going with the flow episode. I'm just gonna stick it up right about here. I right in front of my face. We got whatever episode we got, and there's a few things I want to touch on. So a lot of you guys that watch this channel watch me because y'all got alligator lizards. You know what I'm saying? That's what mainly started my channel. That's the reason why I started this channel, and. It's that time of year where brumation is starting or beginning. Yeah, I'll be getting a few comments here and there every single day. Like, we need that brumation video. Can you please tell me tips on brumation? And I don't know much. Don't take everything that I say with 100% facts, okay? I just know what I know. I just know what I know. <laughs> okay. And I might be wrong. Um, this is just what I've experienced with all the baby alligator lizards that I have and the few adults that I had and the adults that I've kept in the past, in the path, in the past. So first things first, before we start off this video, um, I obviously need to do the shout outs, my dude. And if you want to be in the shout outs, just comment down below, honey. I, and if this video was helpful, comment down below. Why am I telling you guys to comment down below if the video was helpful, if I haven't even gone into the video yet? Let's just roll the freaking clip, bro. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. <sighs> On this piece of paper, bro, gotta lick the subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all the true MVPs. But in all seriousness, we got Adi Roxy, one, two, three. Adi Roxy, I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Um, we got Jackson Smith, Jackson Smith. I do know how to read, guys, I promise. <laughs> okay. We got Bailey. Yeah, I don't know how she copped the name just Bailey, but that's pretty fire. We got Sasha Flores, Hydro Sinks, Glenn Solis. Fire names, dude, fire names. Chris the Goat, you know, the best name out there. Obviously, like, come on. And then Luis Gonzalez, Garrett the Garter Snake. Yeah, hello, Garrett the Garter Snake. And yeah, so that's done with the shout outs. Let's freaking get into these alligator lizards and how the hell to freaking brumate them. So first things first, if you have baby alligator lizards, do not brumate them. If they've never been through the process of brumation, you're lucky. Trust me, you are freaking lucky. I, the brumation process in captivity, it's actually better, unless you're trying to breed your alligator lizards, to just not br brumate them because there's no reason. They just brumate as a cycle or a process to survive in the wild because temperatures start getting way too cold. There's not as much food out there. You know what I'm saying? There's not as much insects crawling around. So they're not able to get the amount of calories they need daily. Because of this, they start going into rumination where they slow down their metabolism. They sleep for about a couple weeks to like a couple months. I've heard it only lasts anywhere from three weeks to six weeks. That's just what I've been able to find on the internet. But yeah, there's no way of being 100% sure unless you experiment with your animal, which is what I'm doing now. So I have two adult alligator lizards brumating, and I didn't want to brumate them, but just because their urge to brumate is so strong because they've been established in the wild for a, a decent amount of time, pretty much their whole life, they have an in, inner clock, if that makes sense, that just makes them want to brumate. And yeah, that's the only reason why I brumated them. So if you're in the same position as me and you have adult alligator lizards that were wild caught and you need them to brumate or they have the need to brumate you just got to do it bro and i suggest just not turning on their light don't feed them do not feed them because if you feed them whatever they have in their stomach their stomach continents contents contents whatever the hell is in their stomach bro jesus christ will rot, okay? And yeah, obviously, who the hell wants rotting food in their stomach? If that was you, you would not want that. So yeah, just don't give them food and just wait it out, bruh. If you see them starting to become active again, that's just what I'm waiting for. 
um, start turning on their light and stuff and give them food to see if they're interested. And yeah, bruh, then you brumated your adults. But now, if you have babies and they've never been through the brumation cycle, because right before they brumate, they're born, okay? They're born during the springtime, summertime area. And as soon as you find a baby, they haven't brumated yet. So they don't have that urge to brumate because they haven't gone through a few brumation periods in their lifetime. So you're lucky. You do not need to brumate your baby alligator lizards that are new to captivity at all. For example, my baby alligator lizards, they have not had the need to go into captivity at all since I've had them mainly because they've never experienced it in the wild and I keep their temperatures the same all this freaking time so they think it's summer forever okay and that's what I suggest you guys do um don't mess around with their heating or anything like that and if you have a baby they should not go into brumation or have the need to go into brumation the only time that you should really force a alligator lizard to go into brumation is if you're trying to breed them that's the only exception I would make and yeah, if you ain't trying to breed them and you have a baby, do not put them through brumation because you don't need to. Now, on the other hand, if you have an adult and they are in the need to go into brumation, just do what I told you, you know what I'm saying? Keep the temperatures cool. If you really just do not want your alligator lizard to go through brumation because it is possible to keep them from doing that, even if they're wild caught, I suggest trying to trick them into thinking that it's still summer temperatures outside by having your light on all the time for about 12 hours a day just so they still think that it's summertime so yeah if that still doesn't work then you should consider starting to put them in brumation and yeah you pretty much know if you have to when they start slowing down they're not really interested in food all that type of stuff so i hope this was helpful i hope this was helpful help helpful if you want to breed your alligator lizards and they're ready to be bred then you still got to brumate them because that's when their eggs are developing for the females and i don't know what it does to the males but maybe like it it does something i don't know just brumate them if you really have trouble with breeding your alligator lizards it's probably because you haven't been brumating them so yeah i hope this was helpful um if everything goes right with my alligator lizards i'll go more into depth on how to brumate them or whatever but this is pretty much just from my knowledge and I just wanted to put this out there real quick just in case y'all were like really stressing about rumation and yeah if you got any more questions comment them down below I might be able to help you and if someone's smarter than me come across this video hopefully they'll reply to your comment and help you out so yeah okay so guys as y'all can see right here we are on the floor and in this container right here or this critter keeper or whatever the hell you want to call it I have my Thailand black tarantula. And yeah, and this one right here, I have my Costa Rican striped meat tarantula. And then we have some coconut fiber right here. Say what's up to my shoes. And yeah. Anyways, not with, enough with the chit chat because this is going with the flow. We trying to just go with the flow. Um, let's break into this junk and hopefully not get bit. Okay. Yeah. Papa G, get some money. I'm gonna take I, this off right here. gonna be staying staying in this enclosure so i'm just gonna break this junk up a little bit on the sides i'm gonna keep his main tunnel right here but i want to see how he's actually been doing hey where the homie at though this isn't as exciting as I wanted it to be, but at least I know that he is moving, so he is alive. I do not want to dig for him too much because that can harm him. So I'm going to put this all back. He could fix up his enclosure if he wants, and I'm going to add more substrate just so he has more room to burrow and all that stuff. really doesn't do much i just want to give him more substrate just so he could have more room to tunnel and hopefully just overall improve his way of living because right now he just has this right here and this little section right there and i want to give him more options to do with this enclosure 
Okay, so in here is the Costa Rican Stripe Me. And what I want to do with this thing, hold up. I want to have this little bamboo hide thingy come at a slant and then bury more around just so she can have more room in this enclosure. Okay, I want to loosen this up and do not want to just throw it on her. So I'm just going to do it like this. Good. I want to take her out. How the hell am I going to do this actually, bro? What the hell? Okay, so this worked. I finally got her up on here. And yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at how beautiful she is, guys. I'm just going to be mixing up the substrate. Um, trying to get it a little bit more better. Okay, so this is what I've done pretty much so far. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. The substrate feels just right. You know, not too wet, not too dry. And yeah, I just wanna make this as nice as can possibly be for my beautiful girl over there. Okay guys, so I just finished putting her into her new enclosure hope you guys like it you know what i mean got a little bamboo thingy let's just freaking let's just move on bro what the hell is it what the hell is this boy chris talking about bro this boy chris a weirdo okay last part of the going with the flow i have one of my black widows and yeah i think we're just gonna film her for this last part because the tarantula thing was just not i was just not filming it i was not feeling it you know what i'm saying Okay, yeah, she is straight up capturing that freaking roach. Yo, yo, you need to, hey, yo, you kind of, you kind of caught me, cuz. Okay, yeah. So she was literally just swinging that freaking rope all across that freaking roach. I mean, web. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. And yeah, the roach can pretty much not move whatsoever. Now she is biting the roach to get that neurotoxic venom all up inside them freaking roach guts. And. Yeah, she just flings freaking web like a freaking maniac. Look how much web was on that freaking roach in 0 0.000 point seconds, bruh. Okay, yo, if you get a, can you please get away from my freaking leg? Cause, uh, you are freaking me out. If you don't get the, get the back over there, get the hell back over there. What's wrong with you? Go eat that stuff. Yeah, she is really just trying to pierce through the armor that the roach has, that freaking exoskeleton. And the roach is freaking out. You can see the antennas bugging. Okay, this roach has never been so scared in its whole entire freaking life. Okay, imagine if you were the size of this freaking roach and this freaking, what do you even call this? This this beast of a goddamn animal just come up to you and wraps you in freaking rope and just freaking starts biting you, cuz. Like, what the hell? What am I even talking about? <laughs> that would never happen. But in bug world, that junk always happens. Look at that. Look at that big, juicy booty. Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Oh my gosh, I'm suspect. But nah, in all seriousness, guys, how the hell? How in the... Oh, you saw that hourglass, though. That hourglass be hidden different. If you don't stop putting web all across my freaking... Dude, eat the goddamn food, bro. Okay, it's not time to web up. I Why you... That's her happy dance, guys. Most tarantulas put web down when they get a meal and they're all happy. So I'm guessing that that's what... What's going on here with this black widow i'm not 100 percent sure though but yeah just jesus what if the hell is happening right now man yo chill you better not fall on my bed you better not fall on my bed i will be so mad if you fall on my bed you can see the ring light reflecting off her butt oh look at that look at that hourglass she's not even like a full black she's more of a burgundy on her backside or a dark dark wet a dark dark wet red yo what are you doing Yo, if you don't get the hell up there, if you don't get the hell up there, get away. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay. Now, she is protecting her little egg sac. Can't wait till those things hatch. Imagine if they hatch right now. That would be a, not a good so... Sim <laughs> that would not be a good situation. I put that on phonum. Okay. This freaking roach right here, dude. 
RIP the homie. All right, his antennas are still moving. He's staying still as to not trigger the freaking maniac over here. And yeah, he is just, he is just not happy. Oh, she's coming in for seconds, bro. She is coming in for more. She wants to give that roach a piece of her goddamn mind. Okay, she does not play games. Dude, you could see like little pieces of string or little pieces of hair on the goddamn Black Widow. Oh my gosh, the roach got hella scared earlier. I wonder if you could hear her pains. What is that noise? Who knows? Okay, she's just putting more and more web around. And it's kind of crazy how her legs grab onto the web. I wonder if it's like this little system where it's like her legs are kind of like this and it just grabs on and lets go. Because I see it just like it's she just controls the web effortlessly. Like as soon as you touch the web, it should just stick to you. But I guess her hands have like little, hey, yo, chill, get, you get off my bed. Hey, yo, get, get the, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get, get away. Get, get the hell away. If you don't get the hell away from me, bro, that's scary. Okay, 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 okay. Yo, back the hell up, bro. Back up. Back up before you get smacked up. All right. This, this part's getting way too long. She's going to finish up that roach. All right, guys. And yeah, I hope this was a little bit better than the little tarantula segment. I might not even put it in, you know what I'm saying? So if you didn't see a tarantula segment, you know what the hell's up. But since I just said that right now, I'm gonna have to put the tarantula segment in. What the hell am I talking about, bruh? I am, my brain is hurting, okay? This girl's being a freaking psychopath. This video is already gonna be like 15 minutes long. Not if I have anything to do. I'm gonna just stop the video. Okay, guys, so that's the end of today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. You know, I kind of went a little bit crazy towards the end there. And yeah, hope the freaking brumation stuff on the alligator lizards was helpful if you were in need of that information. And yeah, so I'll see you on the next one. Lates. Lates! Oh yeah, stay tuned for Wednesday's episode, bro. It's going to be pretty fire. Yeah, it'll be fire, dude.